Hey guys, it's Paul. I'm going to quickly answer this question in the uh, forum from Sankasan. Hopefully I pronounced it right. Uh, how to set up an automatic assignment and alert for a task to assign in Zoho. I am trying to explore the possibility of automatically assigning a task to my colleague and automatic notification to alert my colleague that there is a pending activity needs attention. Avoiding it being done manually. So I have asked out which what's the trigger, but I'm just going to do the video for you and then we can talk de in depth more if it's a specific trigger that you need. Okay, so um, when you come into your Zoho CRM, you want to go to workflows. I'm already on it, so I'll go back to your own page, go up to setup here, and then go find workflows, automation, workflows, right? You're going to create a new one. Now, I will guess that this is either a new contact or a new lead. I'm going to guess it's a new lead. So say say you you get a lead created on your um, CRM via whatever format, a website sign up, a, a new contact, a new email, whatever it might be. We'll talk about leads, right? So we're going to we're going to select the module leads. We're going to call it new lead sign up task. Uh, assign task to new lead right so then you're going to say when do you want this to activate so on a record action when a record's created right so as soon as a new lead is created we're going to trigger this workflow uh, for which record you can filter it so you could say you could have tags within the leads uh, depending you know if you had a a um an email sign up form on your website you might want to tag that as email sign up and then send that to a certain person but for this we're going to put you know you just click tag right you'd find tag and then put you know is is you know if you had one set up website contact or whatever you've got so you want to filter it you could but i'm just going to leave it as all records for now i'm going to click next instant action and schedule action now if you wanted to go later you would uh, do a schedule, but I'm gonna. We're gonna. You said you wanted it straight away, so we're gonna create a task. We're gonna do a new task, and put a new lead um, task assigned. Right, due date for the new task. We're gonna get this person from the created date. How many days do they do they have to do this? We're gonna give them a seven days. That might be too much. You might want to put three. You might want to put two. You know, uh, you're going to put not started because it's obviously a not started task. They haven't started doing anything. And the priority, you need to decide how high or low that priority is. So I'm going to put normal. You're going to assign this person. If you don't assign a task, it'll go to a user uh, automatically. But you're going to assign whichever salesman, whoever this task is going to be. I'll have to have a look. If you've got more than one salesman... And you want to round robin the task. So obviously the first lead goes to the first salesman. The second lead goes to the second. And it goes in a fair order. I don't actually know how to do that. But I'll look into it. it may not, maybe you can't. But a lot of other, other CRMs and other um, places. That, there's a place where, you know what I mean? It goes. It, it, it doesn't just send to all to one salesman. It gives it to one person, then the next, then the next in, in a fair order. Now you're going to put here notify assignee. So when this person is assigned this task, it's going to email them and then re remind assignee. So before due date, I'm going to say one day before due date at uh, 2 o'clock in the afternoon, right? 2 p.m. Tell me that this task isn't done yet. So, uh, you know, you can or not do this. So I'm going to get a notification when the task is created and I'm going to get a reminder a day before it's due, right? So save and associate, save the task and now it's switched on. So if I now go to leads and I create a new lead, let's call it uh, happy me business test, last name Nicholson. Uh, whatever it is, right? What, whatever you need to add in under this um, new lead, you know, obviously you've got processes in place. So that's all you actually have to put. And I save it. So that is an, now a new lead created. So if the task has worked 
I'm going to get an email saying here, as always, I have a new task, new lead task assigned, new lead task. So I'm getting an email saying you've been assigned a task. When I create, when I click on it, I go to the new task, uh, new lead task. There's the lead. Uh, and then you obviously follow up on that task, whatever that task is, right? So that was basically, as I said, you're going to go to up to system to, to um, settings, go to workflow rules, create a new workflow. You know, make it fire whenever you want it to fire. You can do, you know, you can you can make it create uh, two days after it's been created. Filter the records if you want certain records to go certain people. You can do a filter and then fire the task and uh, and the notification. And then you've got other things you can do with the workflow going deeper. But that was just to answer that question. How do I assign a task to a certain person from a trigger? So I hope that helped. As always, come to Zoho CRM training in my, um, on my website. It's one of the main first ones, isn't it? Zoho CRM full training. And each lesson is linked to the uh, discussion. So you can go deeper within the discussion. Join my forum. If you're really struggling, I'm online. Look, if I'm online at the minute, just send me a, a, a message. Like, I don't even ask for your email. Um, you know, dive in. I'm here to help. Hopefully, you know, I want you to get up and running. I want you to get flying on Zoho CRM. So, hopefully this answered your question. See you all again soon. Cheers, guys.